Come on, come on, what did I say? Swords up, slash right, parry, again. Oh, I, I think that going with this guy, with Ramsey Snow coming, is a bad Sword idea. up, swing left, parry. Wrong. I didn't know so dogs could hold swords. Word. Of course, my lord. I have many decisions to make, and I wanted your advice. What's the state of our defenses? Are these men ready for what's coming? This lot? Ready? No, but they will be. We post anyone who can hold a spear along the parapet, up where they won't get much scrutiny, and put our meanest, nastiest looking brutes front and centre. That'll show Ramsay we're a force in our own right. You've got to project power, especially when you're weakened. Thank you, I don't Sir think Roland. that's gonna scare Ramsay. I'll let you get back to training these men. Thank you, my lord. And uh, I'll be sure to watch out for more deserters. After today, I suspect there'll be more to come. Oh God. Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. Did he? As lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. I haven't decided yet. Well, you must soon, my lord. This is not a matter to be taken lightly. Thank you, Duncan. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my lord. Does he say anything else? Oh my god. Let me go talk to my mother. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Is my mother up here? No? Oh. Okay, this is pointless. Alright, I'll talk to the Maester. You're all worthless! Maester? Yes, Lord Ethan. I see you've spoken to a number of people. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? What is it you're doing over here? Admiring the ironwood, my lord. I studied it at the Citadel. The wood may be black, but I see gold. An entire forest of gold. What do you mean? It is our greatest asset, my lord. Why not give some of our ironwood to House Bolton and have them leave us be? We could ransom ourselves. You can hardly put a price on your own life, or the lives of those you love. How much do we have to give, Maester? From here to Wolfswood Creek, and then across the next two ridges, it should be enough to satisfy Ramsay Snow, I imagine. Bloodlust can often be sated by gifts and gold. I don't think so, dude. Slash right! That means now! My lord, are you now ready to name your sentinel? I think so. Yes, Maester. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. Oh, boy. There's a lot of big decisions in this game. Like, big ones. Where it's like, it's gonna change the whole game. I think. At least that's what it looks like.
you may sit. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. The choice was clear. You are both worthy. There is no shame in Duncan, nothing. Roiland, this house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. I know. Let him be on with it. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel, but I have made my decision. <laughs> La mama! No. <laughs> Duncan. Just because you're named Duncan. No, I'm scared. Duncan Tuttle. You will be my sentinel. Tot! This, this is reckless. Lord Ethan has made his choice. Come I on. I will not disappoint you, my lord. Now, sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsay Snow? Our scouts say he's only a day's ride from here, with no time to waste. Who knows what he's capable of? Don't panic. We he need to prepare for the worst. Deal with him. There's no need to panic. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Yeah. Ignore Sir Roiland. You named yeah. me Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. Let He's the bloody speak. small council. Don't interrupt my sentence. Lord Ethan deserves to hear from all of us. Enough! Would my father have stood for this kind of bickering? Neither will I. Sir Roiland is clearly able and ready to take up arms, but the rest of our soldiers are not. We need to take a cunning approach. Diplomacy can be a sharper instrument than a sword. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Gentlemen, please. Thank the gods Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf, but we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. I trust Wait. Mira's judgment. We must be unified. I don't doubt she did everything within her power there to help be us. Another way. We all must agree on the plan. We cannot leave until we have a consensus. Ugh. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah, the wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must I don't be like mad. that idea. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Yeah, Enough! No, no. We will fight, we will bargain, we will use diplomacy. My new sentinel favors a certain approach, and I agree. I shall use diplomacy with Lord Snow. I would be foolish to pick a fight without negotiating first. I'll offer our allegiance, and try to reach a reasonable agreement. If you aren't ready for a fight, you're bound to lose when one breaks out. We're gonna lose if we fight. Ethan has made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. Invite him into this hall, and meet him face to face, lord to lord. Ramsay Snow is no lord. That's absurd. You meet him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. Okay, Make you, him you wait. Still? Let him gaze upon Ironrath. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. Lord Ethan? Do you think Ramsay Snow cares about that? I will meet him in the Great Hall. A wise move, my lord. It's careless. Can't you see Tuttle is steering you wrong? That's enough, Roiland. Lord oh, Ethan dude. has given his command. I know, How Ramsay. How many years have I served this house? I cannot listen to that bloody idiot anymore. Forgive me, my lord, but you are not ready to be lord of this house. Are you serious? You're likely to get us all killed. Not another word. Your father would not approve, my lord. Oh, great. 
Apologies, my son. I had expected better of him. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow in the Great Hall, and we will not offer our Ironwood. And don't worry, Lord Ethan. I will stand beside you, where your sentinel belongs. Oh my god, I'm scared. Then perhaps we should adjourn. <laughs> we have to prepare the house. Oh my god. There will always be those who question your leadership, which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? I want to know Malcolm what happened. told me. You want to bring him back? He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. He always protected you and your I sister. Hear what you're saying. And we need all the help we can get. Why would you bring him back after you exiled him? He exiled himself. He has no desire to rule, and that's not what I want either. Asher is volatile, but that is his strength too. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asha knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Of course, that's, your father was furious. That's not but what you we were need in either. danger, and there was nothing else Asha needed to know. Asha does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. That's what Royland you wants. You have many fine qualities. But you do not have that anger inside you. I'm not like that. But I don't need to be, do I? No. But you need someone who is standing beside you. I'm trying to do what's best for this family. What this family needs. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. It would be... Can he go after Ramsay comes? Dude, damn it. Fine. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. Thank you, Ethan. I'm glad you will let me do this. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. Uh, I don't know about that anymore. I want to know what Asher did. Dude, I better not screw this up. What's this? What is it? No. Dude, no. Don't go there. What is this? <gasps> Marjorie? Oh. Lady Marjorie is still with the king? I thought you might want to know. Thank you. I thought we were friends, Mira. When you dismissed me the other day, I won't say it didn't hurt my feelings. I didn't dismiss- oh my god. We've uh. known each other for years. And yet to be treated like that. We are friends, Sarah. Truly. Friends trust one another. They don't hold secrets. Now Lady Marjorie thinks you don't trust me. And she values your opinion very much. Sarah, I... Uh-oh. What happened? 
My lady, I'll leave you to talk. What did he say? Is everything all right? Are you all right, my lady? The oh, king God. was not inclined to offer help for your family. I'll oh. need this mended. Gods. He said I was too easily swayed. And he reminded me that I am not yet his wife. I allayed his fear. For now. But it will be a long time before I can ask him for anything again. Nothing I said Shoot. could cheer him. What can I do to help? He wouldn't even my speak to me when I left him. What can I do to make this better, my lady? There's nothing you can do, Mira. Please don't hold it against me. Ramsay Snow is on his way to Ironrath. This is simply not how things are done, Mira. Not in King's Landing. I'm sorry, my lady. <sighs> Soon I will be queen. And maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now, now, we must both be cautious. I must send a raven. I have to warn my family. If you'll excuse me, my lady. Shoot. Can Tyrion help? Oh, God. <laughs> no. Milady. Begging your pardon, Milady. I hope I didn't frighten you. How long have you been waiting there? Not long. I was just passing by when I saw you emerge from Lady Marjorie's room. What do you want? Who are I you? I just want you to know. I I can help you if you'd like. And your family, if you're willing to trust me. I hear all sorts of things. Things that could How be useful for you. you. It's too dangerous. How can you help me? How can you help me? My problems can't be solved by what you might overhear. Which is why you must trust me, milady. You need allies. I'm sorry. I I really must go. Please don't despair. I know people who Be willing to help you. Really? Man, it switches out a lot. Like in the show. Oh God. He should be here. The man values pride more than honor. We'll do without him, and without King's Landing. I know you'd hoped Mira could help us, but I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. Your men stand ready to act if needed. Our plan is a good one. It will work so long as everyone does their part. Damn Broiland. Oh god. Isn't this a lovely pile of timber? Not the place I'd want to be if there was a fire. Ironwood is near impervious to flame, my lord. Is it? May I introduce Lord Ramsay of House Bolton? Son of Roos Bolton. Although a bastard. Lord Ramsay has the full authority of Thank the you, Warden no, of the... That's enough. Who is this little boy? Shall we is begin? Welcome, Lord Ramsay. May I offer a bread and Lord stuff? Ramsay, welcome to Ironrath. Aren't you the little lord? The Lord Whitehall told me you were young, but this... Look at you. A token for the new Warden of the North. Let me guess. Forrester Ironwood. Carved by our most skilled craftsmen. Ironwood. 
Your father would not appreciate look like much. Don't you approve? Don't know what's so special about it. What do you think? <laughs> not bad. Lord Whitehill, can your lot do this? Given enough time, we could learn. Given enough time, you could do a great many things. But not this, apparently. Look at that. More foresters. Lord Ramsay. Come out where I can see you. We really must focus on the business at hand. Leave them be, you. What is it you want, Lord Ramsay? What do I want? Everything. Nothing. We'll see. First. Let's see you bend the knee to my father, Lord Bolton, Warden of the North. Words are wind. Anyone can say they're loyal. My lord. Ha! That wasn't so hard now, was it? Here's the thing. I don't care about your loyalty. The Crown, however, wants what you've got. Whatever you've been supplying the Starks for centuries. Ships, shields, chamber pots. I expect you'll do the same for us. My father has promised as much to the King. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? That wouldn't reflect well on your me. Your father needn't worry. You needn't worry. Your father will have what he needs. That's a good little law. You can't trust a forester. They murdered our men. It was a forester squire who did it. One Whitehill soldier dead. One Bolton. Yet your man lived. Lord Whitehill is a liar. That's not how it happened. Lad? A liar? <laughs> He's a Whitehill. Then you welcomed me into your hall like a proper lord. Hoping I wouldn't linger outside long enough to notice your pathetic little army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal bannermen will not do. So I've come up with a solution that will benefit everyone. The White Hills will be taking control of your Ironwood from this day forward. What? What? The Ironwood? But... That is our livelihood. Then you'd better well find another fucking job. You can't do that. <laughs> Why not? You know something the White Hills don't? We are talking about trees. You we are them, the true Christmas. You cut them down. The White Hills had ironwood once, but now those hills are bare. Hence the name, of course. They know nothing of how to cultivate the forest. Look at their sigil, my lord. A barren hill. Do you want ironwood for the next five years? Or the next fifty generations? The little lord does have a point. We'll try this. Lord Whitehill will take half of your ironwood. And we'll see who fares better. But my lord... Half of something is better than the nothing you had before. To ensure there's no trouble... Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of 20 men within your walls. At Ironrath, that we cannot abide. <coughs> Ethan. They'll help maintain White the king's Hill peace. Men? And make sure there's no more trouble. This will cause more trouble, not less. <laughs> not for me. You have a man you trust? My son, Griff. Griff will lead the garrison. You have no right. White Hills have no place here. Lads, do make this visit worthwhile. Please, Duncan, don't. Look at this, little forester. You're not frightened, are you? Oh, God. Lord Ramsay, please. And you? Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? 
I'm his twin, my lord. Ah, twins. Well, like the queen and her brother. Well, <laughs> hopefully not just like the queen and her brother. <laughs> I never had a sister. Always wanted one. We have more to discuss, Lord Snow. I have an idea. You'll come with me. You can be my highborn ward. <gasps> Lord Ramsay, that's enough. Do you like hunting? Let her go. She's quite pretty, your sister. We'd get along well. I suppose you can stay. Oh my god. Aren't you the bold lord? Oh, <laughs> no! What have you done? But no! I don't want a bold lord. <laughs> Far too much trouble. Ethan! Ethan! No! 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 Even though you did bend the knee. I think we've come to an understanding. Not Ethan. I certainly feel better about all this. What have you done? However, the foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Take the boy of your ward. No! Kill him. If they give you any trouble. Brian. Lovely meeting all of you. We'll have to do it again sometime. Somebody help him! Fetch the mason quickly! You brought this on yourself. Mama! Please, stop! Don't let, let it go! Let it go! Let it go. Stop it! Don't stop it! Please, stop it! Please, stop it. Bring no. them to the Do something! Ethan? Oh my god! <sighs> Ethan sacrificed himself for us all. He saved Talia's life. Oh my god. He'll be remembered as Ethan the Brave. This house needs a leader. Lord Ethan named me Sentinel. I will lead this house. My sister asked you to swear loyalty to her son, and you did it without flinching. We can't let them hurt Ryan too. We have to stop them. We do not stand alone. There are those who will fight for us. Those who hold House Forrester above all other loyalties. Those who will not stop until Ethan is avenged. Until Ryan is home again, our house will not fall. We will be ready. Nothing comes without a cost, my lady. Are you prepared for what might happen? Oh my god. You and 52.4% left Bowen behind. You and 73% swore loyalty to the king. You and 40% freed Eric. You and 61 picked Duncan. You and 63 met Ramsey in the Great Hall. Oh my god. Could this end up a different way? Is there a way to have it that, that Ramsey doesn't kill Ethan? Oh my god, dude. That was so crazy. Oh. Dude, this is gonna be nuts. Telltale and Game of Thrones put together. <laughs> it's gonna be a massacre. <gasps> oh my god. Damn, that was good though. That was really good. Am I just going to be two people now? Or am I going to be another person? I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be another person. I'd be cool if I could be Asher or something. I'm curious to know if Ethan dies regardless. <sighs> that was so 
crazy. That got me off so off guard. I was like, okay, I think it's going pretty good. 